Okay guys, so this is the uh, Celestron Power Seeker 127EQ and this video is going to be a quick overview and, uh, and my opinion on this telescope and I'm going to give you a, a close-up look at this if, in case you're interested in checking this out this telescope. The 127 in the name stands for 127 millimeters of aperture which is uh, five inches. So you have a five inch aperture on this telescope, which is very good. Uh, the EQ in the, the name of this telescope, the 127 EQ, stands for the equatorial amount, uh, which this is a close up view of here. This can be a little bit confusing for a first timer, in my opinion. Uh, with a bit of study, though, you can catch on and figure it out. Uh, basically, you would have to align this axis with the North Star and you have to put your, uh, your latitude of where you are on the Earth uh, right here. Uh, now this is my cousin's telescope so uh, I haven't adjusted, it, it has this weight, he has the weight placed down as far as it can go and that seems to work pretty well so I would recommend putting the weight there but uh, this is a close-up view of the equatorial mount which is not particularly first time user friendly in my opinion. So with this telescope you get a 20 millimeter eyepiece and a 4 millimeter eyepiece. Uh, they work pretty good but I would uh, I would recommend getting uh, an eyepiece that's in in between those those numbers like a 9 to a 15 something like that. Um, it also comes with a 3x Barlow I'm pretty sure. Uh, Finder scope, so the finder scope's pretty flimsy and it's not quite as easy for setting up as a bit of a higher end telescope, but that's to be expected. It works fine. I think it's a 5 by 25. Um, I'd also recommend getting a, uh, a laser collimator because I, uh, I don't think this telescope comes with a collimation cap. Uh, so to collimate it, you're going to need to get a laser collimator. As for viewing, uh, it's pretty good. You have a, as I said, a 5 inch aperture, which is a nice size aperture. So you have a 5 inch mirror. So this is a Newtonian reflector, if that, if, in case I hadn't mentioned that already. Um, so 5 inches is a pretty decent, pretty nice size. You're going to see lots of good stuff. You can, the moon and the planets, obviously, and, uh, with a 5 inch uh, reflector you can start to pick up on some deeper objects in the sky. So it is a pretty good little telescope overall. Um, however, I probably would not recommend it for a first telescope for somebody and that is because of the equatorial mount. And some people might think you should start out with an equatorial mount and learn how to use that. But um, I've seen it happen where people get a telescope with an equatorial mount and it's just too frustrating and confusing and uh, they give up before they even get started. So if you really want to enjoy the night sky and you're a first time viewer, uh, there's nothing wrong with an AZ mount. Uh, there really isn't. That's how I started and when you really get into it then you can, you can upgrade to an EQ mount or you may stick with an AZ mount. It's all personal preference really, an opinion and what you're, what you're trying to do what you want to be able to do. Um, so that's just that's my opinion on this telescope. It's a good, good telescope, but I wouldn't recommend it for a first telescope. Thanks for watching, guys.